Hi everybody, this is Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle Telegram. This is our March 23rd Lorain County Coronavirus Update. Right now we have 442 cases across the state of Ohio. 24 of those are in Lorain County. We have a reporter working on some late news that an Avon Lake police officer is one of the people infected with the virus. We have six confirmed deaths across the state and Dr. Amy Acton says the state is investigating the possibility that there are any, many more cases. She will be reporting on that to us later and we'll have an update as that information comes in. One of the things we talked about yesterday was childcare pandemic licensing. Beginning Thursday, daycares must have a childcare pandemic license. The first slots available will go to healthcare workers' children. More information on the program can be found on the Ohio Department of Jobs and Family Services website. As of now, there are 21 approved childcare pandemic licenses in Lorain County and they expect that that list could grow by the Thursday deadline. The stay-at-home order will take place tonight at 11.59 p.m. Governor Mike DeWine said he does not anticipate the National Guard will be playing a role in enforcing it, but rather local health departments and law enforcement will. Many manufacturers across the county are remaining open as they're considered essential. Lieutenant Governor John Husted said the companies must maintain social distancing, keep a clean work environment, and monitor employees' temperatures. Some of the ones we talked to that will be staying open were Invicare, Durline, American Fluid Power, and several others. Some of the ones closing, Auto Details, Wagner Electric Signs, Black River Tavern, and Mermaid's Tale must be closed by the end of the day today. Giant Eagle has announced a program where they're ensuring extra precaution for their customers. They're installing plexiglass at checkouts and customer service stations. There will also be floor markers and signage at checkouts to indicate appropriate social distance. Giant Eagle is also asking guests not to bring reusable bags into the store for the time being. They're suspending the program to keep the virus from spreading. We have information that the federal courts will be closed until May 1st, and the National Guard that everybody keeps asking about is here, but they're not maintaining checkpoints. They're hoping to pack food bags at second harvest. So you may see them around because they will be distributing food, and that is all they're really gonna be doing across the area for this time. We had a couple other little programs that we worked on today. Uh, photographer Kristen Bauer was out and about. She shot something called Honks for Hugs in Avon Lake today. And basically what people are doing is they're trying to get out and show support for other people and just doing drive-bys in cars, drive-bys and waves. We had a report of a teacher today who was walking around holding signs up to show the children in her classes. They're just trying to show a little bit of love to people without actually getting inside of that space or being around other people. So that's our update for today. We will let you know if there's anything new breaking. Hopefully it'll be a quiet evening. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and don't forget about the elderly. Have a good night.